knowing that you are now ready to proceed, that you have prepared yourself for our burning bowl service. Again, just to remember what you're going to need, a candle, some water, the metal fireproof bowl with salt in the bottom, your paper, and your envelope. So let's get started. You see, as we go into the new year, we don't want to be taking any of our baggage from the past into the future because dragging and lugging our challenges, our disappointments, our perceptions of the way it is block us from the way it can be. I know if you're like me, you probably had some challenges this year. Someone said to me, in one word, how would you, you know, define the year 2012? And I responded, climb, a long climb over rough terrain. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a bad year, but I certainly did have some things to climb over and overcome. But of course, as you know, the more you climb, the more beautiful the view at the top. Not going to deny it was climbing. Some of that climbing was overcoming my own stuff. And so I want to leave that behind in 2012. I don't want to bring it with me into 2013. In unity, through the law of mind action, which states, the thoughts we consistently hold in our mind manifest in our lives, we want to deny, to take away any power or thought of the negative things and affirm the truth that with God all things are, are possible. So this is called the working the law of mind action with denials and affirmations. In the burning bowl service, as you write down the things you want to let go of and then ultimately uh, ignite them and burn them in the bowl, you affirm they are gone. Then with your letter to God, you are going to affirm, to make firm the good things that you want in the coming year. So we're going to begin with a little meditation, and I invite you to just settle in and, and breathe and relax and release. Just think to yourself, peace, be still, peace, be still. Let your busy thoughts melt away. See yourself as you are, standing at the threshold of a wonderful new day, new life, new promises, new experiences, dreams, and visions. You're going to be putting your hand on the doorknob to that doorway to 2013, filled with potential. But before that, you're going to release any of the baggage, any of the stuff that may be trying to hold you back. So in this time together of silent prayer, I invite you to just let, let your mind flow. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. Let images appear. Think of times you felt stressed in your life. Think of times a particular person may have stepped on your toes or habitually tap dances on your very last night. Maybe you've had disappointments in this past year, things that didn't manifest as you had wished they would. As things come to your mind, I invite you to write them down. I'm going to take a moment now to write down a few of the things that I would like to release. I'm not going to hit the pause button. You don't have to do that either. So it's going to be kind of quiet for a minute or two. But in that time, write down just one or two things that you would like to let go of. So go ahead and do that now. 
things written down. If you don't have yours written down, hit pause right now and go ahead and take a few minutes to finish. Now that you have written down the things you want to release, you want to take your paper and don't crumble it up tight, don't fold it, just kind of crunch it a little bit like this, that's so it will burn, right? And you want to ignite your paper with what? With the light of Christ that is taking away these negative thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Just watch them burn. And as they are burning, release and re let go. I release. I let go. I put these things into God's hands. I let go of anything that might be holding me back from all the promise of the new year. You're probably looking right now at nothing but ashes. That's a good thing because all it is is gone. If these things come up during your coming days, keep remembering, no, no, I burned those. I gave them to God. Those are ashes. No longer can they affect me. Like it says in the Course in Miracles, the past is gone. It can hurt me not. And in our wonderful holographic universe, this is today and every section of my day, every minute of my day is new. Now that we've gotten rid of the past, it's time to step into the future of 2013. And you're going to do that by writing your letter to God. Take a few minutes now to sit down and, and write a letter of thanksgiving to God for the things that you would like to see manifest in your life. This will be put away in a special place later. I'll tell you all about it. But for right now, do go ahead and hit that pause button so that you can write your letter to God. Don't worry. I'll be waiting right here when you're done. Now, after you've written your letter to God, you're going to fold it. Now, you know, we can't certainly mail it to God, but we can put it in a very special place in consciousness. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take it, fold your little, your little letter to God, and put it in the envelope that we have. Tuck it in there and seal it. Seal it. That's a good thing to do because that way you're not going to be tempted to look at it. So, we're sealing the envelope. Now, what do you do with it? Now, I invite you to put it perhaps in your Bible or in, um, if you have a prayer center. I have a prayer center. I love my prayer center. It's where I go and I pray and it has different things that keep me grounded and remind me of God's love and power in my life. And so I invite you to go ahead and to put that away and to know that you have released and let go of negative things in your life and you are open and receptive to the good. Next, we're going to do our white stone ceremony, which will take us to those next steps. So I'm going to uh, sign off for right now and let you go ahead and get ready for that. And I'll be right back. Just go to the next